So, you know, what, what's a chatbot to you? What's a conversation UX? Um, for us, it's anything where the primary interface is text. So, not buttons, uh, not, not necessarily touch, but kind of text based. So, of which there are, uh, in our view, two quite obvious styles. One of which is quite linear, hard coded branching. Uh, the other, which is, I guess, more of what you consider a proper conversation, where it's more food response. You can ask it anything, or come back or something. Which a lot of the, um, you know, which a lot of Microsoft are trying at the moment. Um, we'll we can sort of show you how that they've been going wrong. So, conversational UX, believe it or not, has been going back one in sixty years. So, um, in the, as early as the nineteen sixties, people started writing these things, um, and as early as the nineteen nineties, there's there's been a prize for your best bot competition. Um, really, the reason why it's, in our view, it's taken off recently is because, you know, obviously Apple have had Siri, um, you've had Alexa, um, CEO of, of Microsoft stood up in Bill Conference last year and said, bots are the new apps. So everyone's looking at it and going, we should probably do something about this now. Um, and then towards the end of last year, they also launched this thing called Microsoft Tay, which um, I don't know if you read that, but it's famous, it's been in news because it got corrupted by people teaching it things that it shouldn't know. Um, it was a pure AI bot, pure machine learning, um, without any real controls around it. So why, why should we care as developers about, about bots? Um, this is what the research says. Um, over the past two years, um, instant messaging platforms has, have doubled in terms of user base. Um, if you look at WhatsApp, uh, that's gone from something like 550,000 uh, users, million users, sorry, to billion users. Um, and chatbot use in Americans in, in a study by Business Intelligence showed um, more than 60% of people between 18 and 55 already use the chatbot in some form, whether they know it or not. So that, that's, those are interesting stats. Um, and other stats to sort of support what's going on. Um, WeChat is the um, dominant chat platform in China. Um, that's got, you know, in terms of users, it's got 20% less than Facebook. But in terms of uh, the amount of money it's making from those users, it's making 36 times more revenue from mobile. Um, um, with WeChat, the primary form of interface is chat. Um, and a, lot, a large portion of the revenues are services they added in 2013, so things like payments, booking taxis, um, games. So people are looking at that and saying, well, we're probably two, three years behind that curve here in this country now. Um, but the potential is there because it's been shown to happen.